Hi, this is Jeff Lesher with What's the Point? And we're going to examine two weighty related questions through the lens of things that are a little bit less so, at least in the way that I'm going to use them. So the questions are these, can we change and should we? The lens through which we're going to take a quick look at these questions, which we do need to regularly ask ourselves and challenge ourselves to answer and to answer in the way that we determine to be appropriate. So should we change? Let's take that first and let's view that through the lens of the naming of sports franchises. If there was a team name, like in my hometown of Washington, D.C., that bore a name that some people found to be offensive, should we consider changing that name? And how do we do that, recognizing that there are people who are equally passionate on the side of maintaining the team's name? Because while some believe that it's offensive to Native Americans in particular, others have a very positive association with the name, because it once represented a winning football franchise a long, long time ago. But should we is something that we should be assessing. Uh, should we voice the character of a poo on the Simpsons? Simpsons, that's a question that Hank Azaria has answered in the negative after a number of years of being somewhat of a controversial figure because his answer was in the affirmative. Um, but what is the consideration that goes into it and where do we ultimately land? And as leaders, not just for ourselves, and, but for our teams, and not just for our teams, but for all the people we serve and the communities in which we represent. Should we change? Can we? So this is a question that comes up consistently in the current political campaigns. There are a number of people running for office who have significant years in the public eye and in public service in many cases. And they've supported positions over time that they may think differently about today and certainly that are viewed differently today than they once were. So people are held to a standard, for example, that um, is appropriate for the year 2020, but was different, maybe still not wholly appropriate, but different nonetheless, 15, 20, 30 years ago, in some cases even longer than that. And so what the voter has to consider is, can that person change? So I think they should, but do I believe that they have or that they could in order to garner my support? And again, as leaders of organizations, we have to often earn and re-earn the credibility, the trust in others, in our constituents, in our fellow leaders, in our teams, in our client base, in our communities, that we not only have chosen to do something or to do something differently, but that we can and we will do that consistently. So think about that. Again, the lens is accessible to all of us. Who do you support and why? Or who could you support and under what circumstances? And should you change in order to align with them and how much in order to get to some generally commonly held outcome that you think is better? And can you and can they? Can we change and should we? And I'll link it as a preview to a question that you ought to ask with respect to maintaining someone's employment or choosing to bring them in in the first place, which is can we do better and should we? Can we do better and should we? Can we change and should we? And can we change for the better? And should we? I think most of us would say yes. In fact, you'd say, hey, that's the point. So then how do we and how can we? Important questions for which I am sure you will come up with some amazing answers. And I look forward to hearing what you decide. Have a great week.